So today I'm going to be talking about the art of fulfillment. I recently saw a short little video by the one and only Tony Robbins. He makes great videos. I love watching them. He has so many inspiring and amazing things to share and I really liked his video about the art of fulfillment. And from my interpretation of what he said, basically what I got out of it was you can succeed in life but still not be fulfilled. Like how many times in life have you had this goal and you've set out to go do it and once you've reached it you're just like, well what now? Like I got what I wanted, got what I needed, like what now? And then you realise like, oh is this all there is? And then maybe it's not even actually what you want anyway. And he said there is a formula for success and that is the science of achievement which is a process of making your dreams come into a reality. But then he says, but to live a fulfilled life is not science, it's an art. As what is fulfilling to one person may not necessarily be fulfilling to another person. But he said that success without fulfillment is basically failure, so you need to find what fulfills you. He gave a great example, a story about people that land on the moon for the first time and then that was their big dream and their big goal and then he said that when they came back to Earth they were very unhappy and lost because that was their life goal and they achieved it at around let's say 30 and then what else like then they have nothing left so he was saying that you need to find fulfillment in the little things the things that you see all the time if you just have this one big goal and you reach it, then you have nothing left. So that's why I think people say it's the little things that count. Because if you can find happiness in all the little things around you, you can be happy all the time and fulfilled. You can have all those goals and once you complete them, you still have yourself and you're still fulfilled in life and the things that are going on around you. So things like when people smile and going for walks, just all those little things they need to bring joy and fulfillment in your life. I think it's important that you don't wait to reach that moment where you reach your goal and you don't wait for the happily ever after ending, but that you live your happiness right now instead of waiting because you realise that you've done all this waiting and wasting time and not being happy until you reach that point. And once you've reached that point, then you've got nothing. You need to be happy right now and then you don't need to wait for the happy ending. You've just got it all the time. He said, if you can celebrate the littlest things, then you will be the richest person in the world. And I think that is so true and I'm going to try and adapt that to my life because if you're grateful and you appreciate and you are happy for what is around you and what you have right now, you will live a much happier life. I suggest trying to put the art of fulfillment into your life in case you're a little lost or you think that you just need to wait for that one big final happy ever after because you'll find that once you do reach that if you have nothing else then you'll be very lost. Thank you so much for watching this video. I post two videos every week so make sure that you subscribe right now so that you do not miss a single video. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys!